greetings. Today we're here at everybody's favorite mass overconsumption store. Costco! This is about to seem like the most sponsored video of all time, but it's not sponsored! Unsponsored! Using the Yuka app. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying to like go get this or use this or whatever, but I use it because I'm lazy and don't want to read the ingredients and I love having someone do it for me. So, let's do that together. Come on! Okay, since we're like fitness lifestyle oriented and whatnot, we're going to start at the protein supplements. Um, huh? Not that one. You don't need any of these things, but if you like them, then you like them. Why not, baby? Let's go. By observation only, this looks like it's going to rate sub 10. So let's see what the damage is. It's not on there. <laughs> It, do it doesn't have everything. It doesn't have things that are like vitamins, and sometimes it considers these vitamins. Are there any vitamins in there? No. But that's okay. Let's try Fairlife, everyone's favorite high protein milk and cow's worst nightmare. <laughs> 49 out of 100. So the ratings out of 100. This is what's bad about it. Three additives to avoid, two of which are hazardous. Excellent source of protein. Okay, so basically those three additives are apparently really bad because everything else rated really highly. So consume at your own risk. Okay, let's get started on the bars. Here we have Robert Irvine's. Now, just by visual assessment alone, I don't know, I think this isn't gonna do very well. By taste, they're pretty scrumptious, but I feel like they're equal to a candy bar. So if you want something that's like a candy bar, Maybe just have a candy bar. Let's see. This rated a three out of 100. It looked like a three to me anyway, so. Worst one yet, mostly thanks to the 13 additives to avoid. Second thanks to saturated fat and third to calories and sodium. So, it's a total package. No offense, Robert. Next. Let's try one that looks a little healthier because the other one packaging alone, the bright yellow, come on. So this one is using more neutral tones, which definitely screams healthy to me. Okay, it ranked 49 out of 100. But the only reason is because it has too many calories and too much sugar, which I don't think either of those are that big of a deal. It's just kind of dense considering how itty bitty baby tiny these are. They're about this big. So, also it's organic. Wow. Considering it didn't rank poorly for anything else, just the calorie and the sugar content, this one's actually pretty good. Next we're gonna do this one. As you can see, the sign is green, meaning it is organic. This one also marketed towards children. Let's see. 49 out of 100 but it's only 49 out of 100 because it says the calories are too high and too much sugar meaning pretty good pre-workout snack pretty good all the time snack maybe not depends how many snacks you're having but don't stray away just because it's a little dense free M&M's. I wish they had Skittles because I'm pretty sure Skittles is banned in Europe or something like that. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. Wouldn't be surprised. Europeans don't have anything fun. Mm. Just kidding. They just don't have Skittles. Oh no, we got a zero out of a hundred. Tina <laughs> M&M's zero out of a hundred due to eight additives to avoid. Too much saturated fat, too much sugar, too many calories, which those last three is like whatever because it's freaking peanuts covered in chocolate. What do you think, it's gonna be low calorie? No, but the additives, probably because all these delicious, scrumptious, attractive colors, poison for your brain. That being said, I actually love these, as does my entire family. So even though I sound pretty judgmental on these, I still eat this. Do I eat it all the time? No. Am I gonna make my life suck by not having any peanut M&Ms for the rest of my life just because there's additives? Personally, no. That's a decision for you to make on your own.
Um, this was the sample that I ate earlier, so if this is made the way regular peach rings are made, then I know it's gonna rate super poorly because it's just like a red 40 bomb. But I love red 40. So let's see. It got a zero. <laughs> it got a zero because of the red. So would I eat again? Probably, yeah. Look at this. Look at the way they fit perfectly in place. Like an organized beehive. That's some European shit right there. Let's see. 20 out of 100! It said low cocoa content. So apparently if you're not high enough on cocoa, you're gonna get a low rating. Also the fact it's non-organic, just like whatever. Too much sugar, too much fat, and limited risk with additives. So overall, apart from it just like being, you know, unattractive at a 20 out of 100, I think that was an unfair rating. And uh, it's actually not that bad. Loops. Everyone's favorite fruited loop. Let's see. I would guess this would do really, really bad. It got a 9 out of 100 for additives, for calories, for sugar, and for sodium. Let's see how bad those additives are. They're pretty bad. Um, but with something this colorful and beautiful and just like overall attractive, that's to be expected. So. Yeah. So as we've observed, one of the biggest issues we've come across is things getting a low rating due to high calorie content. Content. However, popcorn is already low. Specifically, organic skinny pop. Has skinny in the name, which is atrocious. But uh, let's see. It got a 64. So that is without a doubt the highest one so far and the only one considered good so far. The only negatives is too many calories, which is insane, everything has too many calories, um, and sodium, but it's popcorn. So, Skinny Pop, actually, good. Let's compare. This one I think is marketed specifically for like being better for you, considering it's called Lesser Evil. Lesser Evil of what? Skinny Pop? So let's see, it claims to be a clean snack with simple acts. And it's got Buddha on the cover, so better represent. 37. Ah. Wah, 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 wah. Because of one harmful additive and too much saturated fat, even though this one has less fat than the other one, I think the other one was not as saturated. This one is five grams saturated. Also, too many calories at 120. What do they want? What do they want? Zero. And too much sodium. So not as good as Skinny Pop because it has additives. I would not have expected that. See, these are things that you learn by looking. I learn by having someone else tell me. <laughs> this is something I actually use. So let's see. If this gets something low, questioning you guys. Oh, 100 out of 100. Yeah, baby! Back for someone else to enjoy. No additives, organic, fiber, protein, low calories, low saturated fat, low sugar, low sodium. That's the recipe for 100. Almond milk. Extremely difficult to harvest as almonds have very small udders. But it's worth it. It got an 88, I'm shocked. Organic, low cal, low saturated fat, low sugar, low sodium, no risky additives. But also it's super easy to make your own almond milk, which I think would be even better than buying this. Probably more cost effective and even better because you know exactly what's in it. And you get to milk the almonds yourself. So anyway, still pretty good. Petit pot, creamy organic French dessert for only $10. I think even if this ranks poorly, it's 1,000% worth it because you get six tiny glass pots and dessert for only 10 bucks. Let's see. I think if anything, this will rank low for calories. Ooh, we got a 67 out of 100. No additives, organic, good protein, low calories, low sodium, low sugar. Only negative is too much saturated fat. So. Didn't see that coming whatsoever. Also, I think Yuka is like 
you just trip in because three grams of protein for 180 calories, 10 grams of fat, and 19 carbs is not a good protein source. But you know what? <laughs> We're gonna take what we can get, especially for six glass pots. Yeah, so bars. Greek yogurt, low calorie, high protein. Actually, as compared relative to the petite pots. 69 out of 100. Good protein, low calories, low sodium, low fat, no risky additives, but too much sugar. Okay, so that's pretty good. I would think it'd be worse. I think there'd be like crazy additives. It just like looks something, looks like something with crazy additives, but it's not, so. Okay, last but not least, if you're looking for something similar to Chick-fil-A nuggets, but a bit healthier, Costco's got your back. 63 out of 100. The only downfall is a bit too much sodium. So if you're at risk when consuming too much sodium, don't eat this, but also probably don't eat Chick-fil-A either. So W for the day, I'd say. Okay, gang, and that's it for our Costco criticism of the day. Um, once again, this was not sponsored by Yuka. I'm not necessarily promoting Yuka, but I do like to use it, and I do find it pretty helpful. As observed by today's lookings, I wouldn't go solely based on the 100 scale because some things are given a lower rating on traits that I don't think it necessarily deserves a low rating. Me personally, I would just look out for like particular additives, but even with those things, me personally, I'll still eat them on occasion. I'm not really like a super censorship consumer per se. Um, but anyway, this is our haul from Costco. We got petit pots. <laughs> and, um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to actually like it here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and please leave a silly comment below, because I always love hearing from you. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios! Oh.